lots of men. <laughs> the shadow knows. <laughs> presents The Shadow, the mystery man who strikes terror in the very hearts of shopsters, lawbreakers, and criminals. Ladies and gentlemen, when you hear The Shadow's blood-curdling laugh, you can be sure that exciting entertainment will follow. And here's something else that you can be sure of. When you buy blue coal, you're getting the finest of Pennsylvania hard coal. The harmless blue coloring that identifies blue coal is your guarantee of clean, even, safe, dependable heat all winter long. So don't take chances. Insist on Blue Coal. Ask for it by name. Phone your order to your nearest Blue Coal dealer tomorrow. And be sure to hold on for John Barclay's important message at the end of this program. The plot murder announced for today has been postponed. Today, the circle of death. Oh, Jack, what a delightful show. What a wonderful way to start our honeymoon. Darling, when it comes to shows and girls, I'm a swell picker. Now I'd be picking night players. Oh, taxi? Hey, taxi! Darling, I think you're wonderful. I've never had such a marvelous time in my life. I'll bend, honey. Things are pretty quiet around the theater district tonight, Bill. Yeah, pretty thin crowd. I don't blame folks for staying away. After those three bombings and 15 people being blown to pieces, I wouldn't be here myself if it wasn't the commissioner's orders. Same here. Boy, has this town got the jitters. Commissioner Weston's hopping around like a cat on a hot stove. I hear the Midtown Association is going to ask for his resignation if he don't catch the nut that's scattering bombs around here like confetti on New Year's Eve. The guy that's pulling these jobs sure must have it in for a lot of people. Yeah, he's a real screwball, if you ask me. Look at the way he's always sending warnings to the newspapers before he blows another batch of pedestrians to Hades. Yeah, and have you noticed? He always ends his notes by saying, I hate crowds. Yeah. Now, this is the time that crazy group warned he'd set off another blast. Maybe his, his watch is slow. Things are going to pop if he pulls another job and kills any more people. Well, maybe... Maybe all the cops have them scared off. Maybe. Maybe not. Bill, look at that car. Blow the smithereens. Insane, Marco. Crimes like this always are. Turn on the radio, it's time for a news bulletin. The switch from the dashboard. Right. The inefficiency of the police department. Tonight at Midtown Hall, a meeting of businessmen of the entertainment world and property owners is in progress. Police Commissioner Weston has been asked to defend his department and produce results or resign. Well, that's enough, Marco. Watching that's the DC. Well. Now listen, Captain. Yes, sir. I want you to go to that protest meeting right over there at Midtown Hall. Commissioner Weston is speaking, and the crowd is pretty certain to heckle his explanation of the failure of his department to catch this fiend. I'm sure. Now, here's what I want you to do. Keep quiet and watch your chance. Then I want you to cry out that Shadow could solve this crime without half trying. Aren't you flattering yourself? Never mind that, Margot. I have a very definite reason for doing this. A lot depends on your getting the crowd to take up your suggestion. I'll do my best, Lamont. But where are you going? I won't be far away. Hand me that leather case on the floor. Here you are. Am I permitted enough womanly curiosity to ask what's in it? <laughs> Just a little wire-tapping device. Telephone? No. Now, Commissioner Weston will be talking over the loudspeaker system in Midtown Hall. Don't be surprised if the shadow interrupts his speech. Now, remember, Margot, cry out of a psychological moment. Hundreds of lives depend on it. Our found squads have called the city. 
every known criminal with psychopathic tendencies has been rounded up and questioned. Not one fragment of a file has been found, no buildings have been damaged, no one person has been singled out for death. This is not an ordinary crime. We are not dealing with an ordinary criminal. Oh. Shadow, 
Don't you realize you've endangered the lives of thousands of people? Nothing will happen if you do not interfere. Now don't take my orders from you, Shadow. You're not running the police department. I'm not giving orders, but I need your help. Just do one thing for me, and you and not the Shadow will get the credit for the capture of the mass killer. Oh, yes? Well, what do you want? Just keep the crowd moving through the narrow arcade. Just keep them moving. Keep them moving. Everything depends on that. What are you trying to do, Shadow? To find a needle in a haystack. A man in a million. You will have a chance. The maniac won't come. You overlook the fact that a dare is a powerful psychological magnet that no egotistical crazed mind can resist. Just keep that crowd moving, Commissioner. Keep them moving. <laughs> start figuring ways and means to save money for Christmas gifts, fuel is probably the last thing that comes to mind. Naturally, you don't want to jeopardize the health and comfort of your family, but did you know that you can actually have better heat for less money simply by burning blue coal? Here's why. Blue coal is a rich Pennsylvania anthracite. The fuel that furnaces, face heaters, and cooking ranges in this part of the country were especially designed to burn. And while other fuel prices are advancing, the cost of anthracite is not. No wonder thousands of homeowners are switching back to anthracite. No wonder anthracite is the fuel that is used for cooking purposes on the nation's crack passenger trains. They have tested all kinds of fuel and found that anthracite is far more economical because it burns long, steadily, evenly, with minimum drafts and less attention. Now, the cream of all Pennsylvania anthracite is blue coal. It comes from the mines of the famous Glen Olden Coal Company. It's tested and retested for purity and uniform sizing. Blue coal is prepared especially for home use, and it comes in all domestic sizes, egg, stove, chestnut, and beef. So if you want clean, even, dependable heat at lowest cost, always order blue coal. Phone your nearest blue coal dealer tomorrow. You'll find his name listed in the where to buy it section of your classified telephone directory under the name blue coal. somebody else blown to bits by this maniac? Looks like the shadow is right. The way they've been swarming through this arcade. Yeah, and watching each other like a bunch of wild animals. You see what happened to that poor guy with the Christmas box? I nearly killed him before we got him out. All he had was a doll for his kid. I saw it. Well, the time's up, Commissioner. Yes. Thank heavens. Any orders, sir? Just keep the men on duty till this crowd thins out. They'll be going home now. Commissioner, Commissioner Weston, look. What is it? The maniac. it has been here. Look at this piece of paper. Where'd you get it? In the arcade. He must have dropped it. Well, what's it say, Commissioner? Tell that shadow fellow I'll kill me a lot more people at 11 o'clock tonight. <laughs> Something has. I found the maniac. Thank heavens. Have you notified the police? Margot, this man is a fiend. If I notify the police and they bungle things, he might kill hundreds of people. This is a job that the shadow must handle alone. But Lamont, he's dangerous. You might fail. He might kill you. The shadow won't fail, Margot. But if he should, it's far better that one die than hundreds. Oh, Lamont, please. There must be a safer way. Perhaps, Margot, but this is the only sure way to end the career of this mass killer. <laughs> Goodbye, my dear. Lamont. Oh, Lamont. <laughs> Commissioner Weston's car. He's 
plenty worried about this maniac threatening to kill another batch of people at 11 tonight. Yeah, we sure have to go out of the theater area to kill him. They won't let anybody in the district here without a police permit. Wait a minute. Here comes a guy. Hey, you! You! Oh, oh, me? Yeah, you. Where do you think you're going? Me? I, I'm going to work. That's where I'm going. Got a permit? Got a badge. See? <laughs> Says I'm a night watchman. I got to go to work. What do you watch? Where do you work? <laughs> I watch things in the ground. Down, down there. Down where? Down, down under the street. Down under the planks. Oh, I get it, Bill. He's a night watchman down on the new subway they're building. Huh? Yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> I go down them steps. Every night I go down them steps and watch. Well, why did you say so? Get on with you. Get to your watching. Thank you. <laughs> Joe Tonetti is waiting for me so he can go home. Every night at 10.30 I take from him the job of watching. <laughs> now that's a job I wouldn't want any part of. Me either. I'll find my be honest. Five minutes late. I want to go home. Here's the keys to everything now. You watch out. You don't you go to sleep? <laughs> the police don't want to let me come to work. But I showed them the badge. <laughs> you can go home now, Joey. I'll, I'll watch everything. Okay. See you in the morning. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Watch. What are you going to do? Yeah, now, you, you just watch. 
What's in this shed? You see? Dynamite. Sticks and sticks of dynamite. Is this what you use to kill people with? Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> My precious dynamite. They kill the crowds they hate, see? <laughs> now, look here. Here's a stick of dynamite all, already fused. There's one, two, three, four, five, and then six, six sticks of dynamite to go with it. <laughs> now, you watch. See, Shadow, I, I, I tie them in a the bundle. But how do you take that dynamite to the place where you killed all those people? It's a block away. How do you carry it? <laughs> that, that's where I'm smarter than you, Mr. Shadow. Show me. <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> now, look, look, see, it, it, it's almost 11 o'clock. Here, here. You, you see this little hook? I, I hook the dynamite to it. Then what, Anton? Wait, wait, you, you, you hear that car overhead on the boards? Yes. Well, if, if the light is red, it will stop right over our heads. Now, now listen. There, there, you see? The light is red. Now, now I take this crowbar. I want this ladder. Come on, come on, you come with me. Yes, I am still here. Although you cannot see me. Now, now you watch it. I pry the end of this plank back, see? And I, I hook the dynamite on the brake rods. I strike a match. And, and I light the fuse. And when, and when, when the light changes, the car takes the dynamite with it. And when the dynamite explodes a block away, I'm still here. When the... Oh, no, 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 no. You, you put out the fuse. You tricked me. And here is the dynamite. No. Oh, it's coming off the car. It, it's gone without the dynamite. And I promised I'd kill a lot of people tonight. Now I have to wait. Tomorrow the crowds will be still pushing me. Scaring me. You tricked me. That's what you did. You, you tricked me. Where are you, Shadow? Shadow. Come here, Shadow. Nice, Shadow. Nice, Shadow. I'm here, Anton Spivak. Yes, yes, I, I hear you. <laughs> nice, Shadow. Come, c come close to me. Put down that dynamite. Anton. No, no, Shadow. I light another match. If you touch that match to the fuse, you'll die too. But I'll kill you. And I don't care. You wouldn't let me kill people. And I don't want to live. I want to die. I want you to die too, Shadow. Wait, Anton. No, 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 no. You blew up my match. Yes, I have a plan. Those thousands of people waiting up the street. Yes? You can kill all those people. Wouldn't that be better than just killing the two of us? <laughs> how, 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 tell me Take how. your dynamite and come with me. Up the steps. Up to the street. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, there's the, the, the policemen out there. I saw them. But they won't see you any more than you can see me. No, 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 they will see me. Hypnotize them. Huh? Hypnotize them. Look straight at them. Stare at them. And then they won't be able to see you. No, 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 I'm afraid. Think of all those people waiting to be killed. Come. Just a few more steps. I am with you. You'll be safe. I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> All those people waiting to be killed. <laughs> I'll try. But, but don't you leave me, Shadow, or I'll light the fuse. I'm here, Anton Spivak. Look, there are the two policemen. Uh -huh. Just stare at them hard as you pass, <laughs> and they won't see you. All right, I'll, I'll try, I'll try. Well, it's past seven, Thomas. <laughs> Looks like a false alarm this time. Hey, wait a minute. Here's that night watchman. Hey, what's the matter with him? What's he staring at? Look. Look what he's carrying. You can't see me. You can't see me. Dynamite, grab it. No, no. Take it away from me. Let me go. Hold it. No, I said no. Let me go. It's a mask killer. No, no. Oh, he, he lied. He fooled me. He said you couldn't see me. No, no, no. Give me my dynamite. I want to kill all those people. Hold it. No. He's the best. Let's go. We got him. We got the maniac. No, no, no. 
he he tricked me. He, he said you couldn't see me. Where did he come from? About a subway excavation, Commissioner. He's a nice watchman. No, no, he, he tricked me. The, the, the shadow tricked me. Oh. It was the shadow. Yes, Commissioner Weston. The shadow. I found the killer. But the glory is all yours. <laughs> Before we tell you of the shadow's next exciting adventure, here's John Barclay, Blue Coal's famous heating expert, with an important message I promised you. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Barclay. Friends, there are just two more days left in November. That means that homeowners have only two more days in which to phone their Blue Coal dealers and get the full details on how they may have a Blue Coal heat regulator installed in their homes for a free trial period of two weeks. To me, this is the most unusual offer ever made. The free use of a blue coal heat regulator for two whole weeks without any obligation on your part to buy. Believe me, friends, until you've used one of these marvelous thermostats, you don't know what real comfort is. Imagine having your home warm and cozy from morning till night without once having to make a trip down to the furnace. And that's not all. You'll find you burn far less coal with this regulator, too. But don't take my word for it. See for yourself. Phone your blue coal dealer tomorrow. I thank you. Friends, for your own sake, do as Mr. Barclay suggests. Phone your blue coal dealer tomorrow and get full details of this amazing free trial offer. Prove to yourself what thousands of satisfied owners already know, that with a blue coal heat regulator, you get more uniform heat, more economical heat than the most expensive oil burner can give you. But don't wait. Phone your blue coal dealer tomorrow. <laughs> The story you have just heard is copyrighted by The Shadow Magazine. The characters in this story are entirely fictitious. Any similarity to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. <laughs> the weed of crime bears bitter fruit. Crime does not pay. The shadow knows. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Barclay. Yes, 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 Mr.